Got one. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. All right. Well, hey, welcome back to the channel. My name's Joe Dyer. Today, really this morning, we are at Kirchhoff Lake. It's uh, up in the Sierra Nevada Mountains near Central California, Fresno. And it's a lake I've never fished before, but I've heard that there's everything in it. Catfish, crappie, um, brown trout, rainbow trout. Small, large mouth bass. So, I have about 45 minutes before my family is up and awake for me to kind of go on a little morning mission. So, I threw on a rooster tail. I also have just some soft plastics. So, we're going to try for trout and maybe see if we can get a bass to bite as well. kids rod. I just couldn't seem to let go. The sun broke the reel on it and it's a good rod. So I bought a $35 bait caster from Walmart to pair it with. I do get a bite, the cool thing is going to be able to watch it happen. For those of you guys wondering, I'm using a uh, rooster tail. That's that keeps getting filled junk. No, I'm using a rooster tail that's rainbow trout pattern. as any right now to try since I've never fished this lake. I'm using a five foot ultra light rod and reel combo because it's a lot more fun to play small fish on light tackle. Like I said, we're still, I can still see the bottom, so we're still six feet deep probably, it's a little bit deeper right here. I still can't figure out how the heck where are these fish are going to be piling up. There seems to be one big flat spot. It's a very small lake. It's made for pg and &E blockage on the river. And it's one of maybe a half dozen on this river. This guy this little lake, actually I've lived near it my entire life, didn't know it existed until about two months ago when I was turkey hunting. We drove past it on the way to where we were going and I was like, I turned to my buddy and I was like, what's this? So then I saw this little pocket of water and I thought, I don't know what's here. There's probably lots of other people that don't really know it's here. So I decided to take my family out fishing, camping right now. So far, the camping's been great. The fishing, the fishing, not so much. The fishing towards the shore. Maybe I should be going out to the main lake or main part of the lake which even when I crossed it, at the area I crossed, was still only six feet deep. But, I don't know. If you guys have better ideas, go ahead and leave that in the comments below because I'd be curious to see what you guys think. about 
30 yards off the bank, just throwing it into the bank, kind of going down the shoreline, but maybe for trout, I just need to be throwing it in the main part of the lake. I don't know. Okay, well, I didn't catch anything this morning, so right now, while my kids are swimming and playing and kayaking and doing all that fun stuff, I'm just gonna take this little <laughs> bait out here, throw it, it's a rainbow trout pattern, and, uh, and see if I can catch something. Got one. Woohoo! Elsie, this is on your lure right here. Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, don't. Kale, grab that. It is a bass. Is it a large no, mouth or is it a small mouth? Hold on, Elsa, hold on. It's a bass. Okay. Out of my lure. It was your lure, honey. Well, we had a great time as a family going to Kirkhoff Lake. It was a beautiful place to be. Small little, small little river lake tucked away up in the hills. And uh, not too much traffic, although there were a few boats out on the lake too, but... Man, just a very peaceful, quiet place. And we're even able to catch a fish, which was nice as a little bonus. And so my kids enjoyed that as we caught it and, and ate it and stuff like that. But thanks for watching this video. Hopefully it encourages you to get out and have your own adventures. And we'll see you later. Bye.